Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Extracting gold from electronic pins using a lead-based process is a method that involves several steps, often used in small-scale or backyard refining. Here's a general outline of the process. Gather the electronic pins from old electronic devices such as CPUs, motherboards, and other circuit boards. Mix the material with lead and flux such as borax or soda ash. Heat the mixture to a high temperature until the lead melts and dissolves the gold, forming a lead gold alloy. The flux helps to collect impurities. Melting an alloy of gold and lead involves specific steps to ensure both metals are properly melted and mixed. Here's an overview of the process. Furnace or torch, a furnace capable of reaching temperatures above 1 100 degrees Celsius to 12 degrees Fahrenheit is required or a powerful blow torch. like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get new video updates. Mixing. Use a stirring rod to mix the molten metals thoroughly to ensure a uniform alloy. Allow the molten mixture to cool. The lead gold alloy will separate from the slag the waste material. Remove the slag to leave behind the lead gold alloy.
You can use hydrochloric acid HCl to help separate lead from gold in certain refining processes, but it's typically part of a more complex chemical treatment rather than a straightforward dissolution. Here's how hydrochloric acid can be used. Lead can be dissolved in hydrochloric acid, especially when combined with an oxidizing agent like hydrogen peroxide. The chemical reaction forms lead chloride, which is soluble in chlorhydric acid. Since gold does not dissolve in hydrochloric acid alone, you can dissolve the lead while the gold remains intact. This selective dissolution can help you separate the lead from the gold. After the lead has dissolved, you can filter the solution to separate the solid gold particles from the liquid that contains dissolved lead chloride. Rinse the remaining solid gold thoroughly with water to remove any residual acid or lead salts. Place the lead gold alloy in a cupel of porous container. Heat the alloy again in a furnace. The lead will oxidize and be absorbed by the cupel, leaving behind pure gold. After cupellation, what remains in the cupel is pure gold. Protective gear. Wear appropriate protective gear including gloves, goggles, and a mask as the process involves high temperatures and potentially harmful fumes. Conduct the process in a well-ventilated area to avoid inhaling toxic fumes. Cool down the gold and collect it for further processing or sale. Thanks for watching.